Hello everybody and welcome to I'm wearing the exact same shirt as last time Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new episode of No Budget Cinema Now I'm using a microphone today so you should be hearing me much more clearly And I do hope that the audio tip with using your cell phone will help you when you're on the go So a lot has happened I shaved my beard, my birthday was this last week And um, some awesome things happened that I'll tell you about at the end of the video But right now let's talk about actually having a video and jump right into things with framing today we're talking about framing now framing is obviously one of the most important things it's your composition it's your angle it is literally what the person is seeing and that's why it is so important. Now, a lot of people might say, but Steve, I mean, you just put the camera down, you press record and, and there you go, sit in front of the camera and talk. But it's not always that simple because I've got junk to my right, I've got junk to my left, here's a light and there's a fan and there's, there's just all this crap around me and I don't want it in my frame because I want me in the frame. I want the focus to be on me. And that is the most important thing about this video. This is a quote I've heard many times. I can't tell you who made the quote because I've heard it so many times by so many different cinematographers. But it is, instead of thinking what you can put into the frame, think of what you can take out. Now try and get the frame as simple as you can. So if you know who the original person of that quote was, please leave a comment below and let me know who that was. You want people at the end of the day to focus on what the video is about you want them to focus on you or on your content or whatever's in the frame that should be there and not the things that shouldn't be there so a very easy way a, a, a foundation where you can begin with your framing is by executing the rule of thirds now the rule of thirds is when you draw vertical lines and you draw horizontal lines in your image splitting it into three sections each and you take those intercepting points and you want your focal points there now there's obviously different techniques to it where you've got for example with a symmetrical image you want that perfectly in the middle but if you've got anything else like for example an interview with somebody you might want this look where you've got this nice natural open space next to them you've got their eyes on the top horizontal line and the mouth near the bottom nice and open and natural and free and it just it feels more comfortable okay that that feels like somebody's looking at you like they are conversing with you so with any kind of dialogue you want their eyes on the top horizontal line and you can have them on either side but you always want the open space in front of them and not behind them but you can use that very same technique where you've got the open space behind them like this for example to sort of create a, a feeling of anxiety of, of claustrophobia of somebody being closed in because all the space open behind me it feels uncomfortable uh, there's all that space what's happening behind him and I think that's almost an instinctive thing because instinctively you want to see what's in front of you and you want this open space when the second you feel closed off the second your back is towards a large open space you feel like something can jump you so you can use that feeling of instinct to manipulate the way that a person is going to feel when they watch your scene so that's one way to take a rule of third and just sort of flip it the other way and there's so many different ways to do that you can make somebody feel really small by putting their eyes on the bottom line Hey, what's up guys? My name's Steve. <laughs> the rule of thirds is a very nice way to sort of define what your frame is going to look like. And just keeping eyes on the top line, mounts at the bottom, and focus points on the sides facing towards the open space is a very fundamental, basic sort of guideline to get you going when it comes to people and you can from there sort of try and create the feeling you want to create by breaking these rules because they're not at the end of the day rules rules they are they are guidelines 
But that's basically what I wanted to share with you today, the rule of thirds. If you just follow those basic tips as a, as a very basic foundation, because in the end, this is no budget cinema. We don't want to get too complicated. This is just a way to sort of give you a guideline to get into it. If you want to know more about that, you can search for the rule of thirds and look more into it. And you can also let me know in the comment section if you would like me to do a breakdown video from scratch. Like just set up the frame like here we put the camera, this is what I'm using, this is my setup. Now we're doing this angle, we're taking this out, we're putting this in. So let me know in the comments below if you would like me to do a full breakdown on that. Otherwise, just Google rule of thirds and it will help you with your composition no matter what camera you are using. But other than that, the exciting news that I wanted to share with you was that I did a music video for Chris J. Clark, really awesome guy, and the music video was on TV. So that was really cool. It was on a little local channel called CakeNet No. Um, you can find a link in the description below if you want to go check out the video. And then at the same time, a movie that I edited, The Ground Under, is now available on Showmax. This is really awesome. It was a lockdown project and I did all the editing, I did all the sound design, I wrote music for the movie. Chris J. Clark also had a song featuring in the movie, which is really cool. Um, so go check that out. In the description is a link to the trailer if you want to see that, as well as a link to the IMDb. And it's just really awesome seeing something that I worked on during COVID, during 2020, when things were tough, that is now out there for people to watch. So if you have Showmax, go check it out. The ground under. Um, it's just so exciting. And again, Thank you for watching No Budget Cinema. I hope these tips and tricks help you and I will keep bringing them to you every single week. Please subscribe because it really does help. And while you're there, leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this video, what you want to see in the future and whether you agree or even disagree with some things that I've said and we can discuss that in the comments. Other than that, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank mm -hmm. you.